Hi folks, uh, hope you're doing good. Welcome back to Beat Entertain, I'm BJ. Uh, today I'm going to introduce a device called USB adapter for iPhone. Um, now we know that till very recent times that we didn't had uh, an adapter where you can directly plug in the USB devices, drives or pen drives and directly work with it. So now that's something possible. So you can have this USB adapter direct, you know, you can plug in and start working with the USB drives um, directly. You can perform all kinds of file operations that you otherwise do with uh, uh, any other devices. Plug in with your computer and then how you use it, right? So, so let's see uh, this device and its operations on the iPhone. I made a video on multi-interface uh, USB uh, drive for iPhone. Uh, not only just iPhone, you can use it with any phone or any device. This is the device which uh, I was talking about. It requires uh, an ISB Pro app to work on, otherwise will not work directly so this is the device that uh, today we're going to discuss and this is just an adapter it doesn't have a memory of its own so you can plug in any uh, USB device to it for example this is a 32 gig uh, USB is a normal gig which I'm going to use it so I'll go to the files app and just keep it ready so I'm going to plug this drive and then I'll plug this adapter to the iPhone now as soon as you plug in uh, this USB if you have some names so it will appear otherwise if there's no name so it shows no name and then you can click and then start browsing you can see all the folders as in there in this USB do the normal file operations just like uh, long press and then you can create a new folder naming it as test so now you can create the folder uh, right now there are no items so what we'll try is we'll just try to you know copy a file from the same files app uh, one of the folder called refile. file I have a file called patron so I'm going to copy this file into the test folder of the USB drive. So you can perform the normal copy function, let's say. Then go to the USB drive on test folder and then long press paste it. You see uh, the file copy it to the folder of the USB drive. Similarly you can go to the um, gallery and select one of the photo file you know photo file or something you can from gallery uh, you know use the share option then scroll down to see save to files option so you can select the USB drive over there, no name, and then um, the folder, which is test, is what we are looking at here right now. Then you can select save. So it's copied there. So we'll just see where it is. We'll go to the test, and as you can see, uh, we copied. Uh, one file from the file folder and the other from the gallery directly so we can actually perform in operations like uh, I can delete them back so so delete operations can be done like how you do it for any of the folders onto this yes perhaps so I've deleted the test folder so I've created it it copied the file deleted the file and deleted the folder so that's uh, pretty much uh, we can use this uh, 
adapter you don't need to eject it you can just uh, pull it as it is and it just vanishes so uh, this is a uh, handy stuff you can actually plug in your normal usbs that you, you work with the other devices along with it. If you like it 